Katie Simpson is in Mayfield and Katie, what's happening there tonight? Urgent search and rescue operations are underway across Kentucky. Hope is fading that survivors will be found as people here try to understand the magnitude of this disaster. At first light, the scale of the disaster comes sharply into focus. Blocks of the town of Mayfield look just like this. It's eerily quiet first thing in the morning. Only a few storm survivors decided to hunker down as they wait for help. I've been sleeping here because I want to protect what little I got left. Shirley Poole and her boyfriend rushed their grandkids into the basement Friday night. She invited us in to show us how they tied their wrists to a metal drain to prevent them from being ripped out of the house. And the kids were screaming and I wouldn't quiet myself. I was trying to scare myself there. And then all of a sudden the basement started shaking and little stuff started coming down and it just sounded like it's just the horriblest thing I've ever heard in my life. All of this is overwhelming to process, even for the governor. The damage is devastating. The entire <laughs> blocks, more than one block, with nothing standing. The cleanup is taking a back seat to search and rescue operations. The biggest effort underway right now is at the candle factory where dozens of workers are still missing. Two of Marty Jaynes's relatives made it out of the facility alive. He's grateful they are okay. He's in shock that his neighborhood has been wiped out. And then this wall hit me and the roof came down. We got lost trying to get to my house because all the landmarks are gone. You, you, you lose your sense of direction. Marty spent his day looking through the rubble of his home, searching for his prescription heart medication and one of his dogs. Like a war zone. You think we just got hit with nuclear bombs or something? Katie, what are the conditions for the search and rescue operation tonight? Colder weather has moved into the area, Ian, so that's a problem. On top of that, there are widespread power outages and water problems, so conditions are less than ideal. On stories like this, there are often little poignant moments, and, and you had one of those. You know, we were near the candle factory today, and as soon as we got out of the car, you could smell scented candles. It's a reminder that this factory was had such a huge presence in this community, and it's just another reminder of what was lost here in this weather system. All right. Katie Simpson in Mayfield, Kentucky. Thanks.